Hello, my name is Urius Goldbar, and welcome to Dwarf Fortress 101! Today we're gonna learn about mechanisms. Now, they're not essential to keep your fort going, but they're helpful for a lot of things. For now we're gonna start with a will, but I'll explain to you how to set up a safe working environment for your dwarfs along the way. Since the last lesson, I assume you got your military operational, and you can't be any safer. In fact, you're probably building chandeliers out of goblin boons. But that just means you're ready to expose yourself to more danger. Clearly, you can't have your military on hand to deal with every stray elk bird that runs into your fortress to disembowel a dwarf, so you're gonna need an alternative. There's a variety of traps, some of which are quite advanced, but we're gonna focus on basic weapon traps. You're probably thinking to yourself, Urist, what does this have to do with building a well? Well don't interrupt, I'm getting to that! You see, a well requires a source of water from somewhere, and in this case, we're gonna go into the caverns. I don't want anything wandering in the mines, so we're gonna build a weapon trap! Every mechanism or device requires some parts before you can get started. What's nice about weapon traps, however, is that you're likely to have all the pieces just laying around if you were attacked by goblins recently. You'll also need at least one mechanism for every contraption you build, so go to your mechanics workshop and tell them to build a whole bunch of rock mechanisms. Just build a bunch of them, you'll need them all. If for whatever reason you don't already have weapons in stock, you can also tell your blacksmith to make special trap components. Giant axe blades, enormous corkscrews, spiked iron balls, large serrated discs, menacing iron spikes, whatever you need. If it's vicious, they can make it for you. If you want, you can also make mechanisms from here as well, but I find it a bit of a waste of resources. Once you've got everything you need, hit B for build, uppercase T for trap, then select weapon trap and set it down in a hallway somewhere. Put whatever weapons in it you feel like and you're good to go. Now, I know that some of you might be rightfully worried because your dwarfs are blasted idiots and they're gonna wander into their own traps. But luckily, they're not that stupid. I don't know how they manage, but somehow every dwarf in the fort will remember where you put that trap. Must be some kind of natural selection at work for that kind of selective memory. Anyway, now it's time to build a well. If you have murky pools outside your fortress, you might already have access to water, but it's about time you got yourself a safe emergency drinking source in case your scotch runs out. But the trouble is, if you want to build a well inside, you've got to build it over a pool of existing water, or you've got to move some water around. Well, we're industrious dwarfs, why don't we do the second of those two? First thing you're going to need to do is dig out a series of canals to move your water around. I can't tell you for sure how this is going to be done in your own fort, so I trust you to make your own canals. Don't screw it up or everyone's going to drown! One thing is important, you're going to have to start your canal approximately one space above the water that you intend to move. This is a three dimensional project, so when I say one layer above, I mean one Z layer above. Dig your canal so that, in theory, using your experienced eye, it appears the water will empty into a pit that you intend to use for a well. Now, go into the job manager and tell your dwarfs to build a giant screw, a pipe section, and at least one more mechanism because you don't have one lying around because you didn't listen to me! Once you've got your supplies ready, hit B, then capital M, then select screw pump. Now pay attention to this next part because this is where it gets frustrating! If you look, the pump will tell you where it pumps from. When it says it pumps from the north, that means it's drawing water from the north. Now, it doesn't say this, but that means that the water exits your pump from the south. So see, you put your pump down and the water is adjacent to it, north of the pump. The water itself is, of course, one Z layer below the pump. So you have three dimensions to worry about here. Once you get all that figured out, it's time to put in a floodgate so you don't drown your entire fortress. Just install one someplace logical and attach a lever. Make sure you put the lever someplace where it's not going to be affected by a flood in case you're blatantly incompetent. Be aware that as a failsafe in case your fortress goes down, you can also choose to flip the lever and just drown everything below the caverns. All you really need is just the one pump, a heart full of spite, and a power creed. Let's explain how to make a power creed. Now this map has enough wind power that we can rely on a windmill farm. To get one of those set up, we need to build a series of axles running from our machine to the surface. So go ahead and build a channel that runs from the surface down to your machine. Build a shaft around it that allows your dwarves to gain access to the shaft and build stuff inside of it. You can build your axles from the same menu that you built your screw pump, that's B, capital M. Once your axles are built all the way up to the top, you can build your windmill. Just go to B, capital M again and select the windmill, then build it on top of the axle. Now you could be done right there, but if you are, go outside and reflect on your life for a moment. You lazy good for nothing, I'm on to you. A long axle takes a lot more power to turn, 
So if you can turn that axle with just this one windmill, clearly you're not delving deep enough. For those of you whose parents raised you better, you're gonna need a windmill farm, which is made by setting out a series of axles, connecting them with gear assemblies, then building windmills over the gear assemblies. Once you've got enough windmills connected in this manner, you should have enough power to run that pump indefinitely and drown everyone in the lower levels of your fort. Oh, uh, word to the ways, just in case you're following this step by step, don't send power to your pump until you're ready, otherwise it will drown the entire lower level of your fort. Anyway, assuming everyone is still alive, now it's time to go ahead and send that water down to whatever underground lake you plan to use. Once your reservoir is full, install a well over it with B, L. And there you have it! The water will be clean because it came from a filthy screw pump. No really, that's how it works. And now you've got a bunch of mechanisms to benefit your dwarves. So good luck with your traps, don't show them to diplomats, and be aware that some monsters won't tip off a trap so you still need your military. But of course, above all else, remember, you can never dig too deep or too greedily.